the, the message of the Holy Gospel. Joseph and Eliza. Fifth Sunday of Lent. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. So the sisters sent word to him, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, so when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, tied hand, and a foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the reflection revolves around the concept of love and trust. Jesus' longtime friends, Mary and Martha, sent word to Jesus that another friend of his, which is Lazarus, their brother, is ill. The scene described at Bethany is a sad one. Martha met Jesus weeping at Lazarus' death. She expressed regret by saying that if Jesus had been there, Lazarus would have remained alive. Jesus asked to be brought to her brother's tomb, where he prayed and called Lazarus out. At this sign, men came to believe in Jesus. It was an incredible miracle. It was so unbelievable that word reached the higher officials who began disnaming Jesus. Let us note that throughout the reading, it was mentioned multiple times that Jesus felt perturbed. This unsettling feeling further proves Jesus' humanity, amplifying the fact that he felt grief over the death of his dear friend. Jesus being strong enough to believe and overcome grief by speaking to Lazarus outside the stone is an exemplary act of courage. Imagine what trust Jesus needed to have to tell Lazarus in the midst of a crowd. Trust is the most essential component of love. Love is more than trust. The lack of trust results in the loss of love. Another important part of the passage is the friendship of Jesus and Lazarus. 
Jesus reignited the flame of life and did Lazarus soak out soul. Within a minute, blood came, rushing forth within his veins. Jesus helped Lazarus live. We humans will be exactly be able to revive the dead. However, we are fully able to revive our friends' spirits. We must give out our best to those we love. This act becomes the binding connection that will lead our friends and ourselves to unleash and live life to the fullest. Be there as a friend filled with love and trust. Therefore, miracles will keep happening. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless! Bye! Bye.